first gig in uh, Ljubljana was actually on a festival called Rdeće Zora in uh, Menza Prikoritu. And that was actually, I think, a LGBT festival. Uh, yeah, this, this isn't our first time being uh, socially or politically active. Uh, we actually did, uh, well, we did a few things uh, to support different kind of causes. Uh, one of them were when the floods hit uh, our region, um, we kind of uh, arranged to make this huge event where um, all the artists could donate their um, CDs or merch or stuff like that. And all the pro proceeds from that were going to, uh, to help the floods. Um, so yeah, I think as an artist you always have a chance to kind of support, uh, not necessarily if you don't really want to, but it's always uh, great to kind of support some causes that you maybe believe in or you think are important for the people to know. So yeah, we're always, if there's a cause that we think um, we can help and we can kind of sp help spread the word or stuff like that. We are <laughs> revolting <laughs> yeah. uh, to our music uh, industry companies in Croatia because they are really conservative and uh, they have an old way of working and we don't um, uh, we don't agree with them and there's also one problem uh, that is unfortunately still uh, present uh, the fact that young artists don't uh, actually know that they can do a lot more by themselves or just by asking somebody else from the scene, from the underground scene or mainstream, I don't know, anybody who is in the music business or I don't know, any kind of business, just ask a question. And um, then the music industry are all still taking an advantage of young artists and poets. Uh, well, at the beginning, I think when we started being six little girls who were only 15, I guess we obviously had struggles uh, just because of the fact that we were young and that we were um, females. Um, so yeah, in the beginning there were a lot of like comments, oh, can we help you like put you on the stage, can we help you um, uh, cover your, um, uh, can we help you like uh, set up your um, drum set or stuff like that. Uh, they were always thinking that we don't know our, our jobs, let's say that way. And yeah, in the beginning there were always sort of comments, sexist comments and stuff like that. But as we were going and uh, as we were continuing being uh, a band, we just kind of, um, I guess, fought <laughs> against that. I don't know, because it was always to us, um, we just kept doing it, I guess. Um, yeah, we just kept doing it. Yeah, we just kept doing it no matter what, because it was always, they could always comment and we would always get on the stage and set up our drum set or whatever. Mm -hmm by ourselves because we can do it, we're not, I don't know, <laughs> we're playing the goddamn instruments, of course we know how to set them up. We are always, uh, we always thought that uh, the, the fact that we are playing and existing for 10 years as an all-female band and played all around the Europe, that's enough to say that girls can play also and that we, the girls can also have a great band.